Grasim has uh, joined us, the group's here for Mr. Sushil Agarwal joins in to talk about his thoughts on the quarter and the outlook ahead. Good evening, Mr. Agarwal. Thanks so much for joining in. Uh, how would you, how would you sum up the numbers? Because the revenue growth numbers seemed very, very impressive. Uh, maybe, and, and the EBITDA growth was probably not at par with the revenue growth. Uh, sum up the quarter for us, sir. So I think you know, this quarter uh, we have uh, witnessed uh, two landmark events, uh, one with the merger of uh, ABNL with Grafin that got completed uh, with first uh, effective 1st July. And the second was the uh, listing of our financial services uh, uh, subsidiary Abhidra Capital, uh, which, which unlocked the value for the shareholders. So these are two events which took place during this quarter. And uh, on the key highlights, uh, I just want to, one, I want to make, make sure that uh, uh, the listeners are, are are kind of clear that it's not a comparable number because this is the first time when we are when we are declaring uh, new merge uh, businesses with with Grafin, and and and, and and to that extent it's not comparable. And then there are a couple of uh, one timers uh, is also impacting uh, the result in some form. Our overall consolidated revenue has gone up by 63 percent uh, to to around uh, 13646 13646 crore rupees. And our consolidated EBITDA has gone up by 34% to rupees 2,805 crores. And, and some of our key businesses like Viscose, uh, where we are the largest player uh, with a capacity of uh, 498 uh, KTPA, have, have, uh, which is roughly around 9% of global market share, uh, we have seen uh, uh, the, the robust uh, performance uh, with, with that part of business, both on uh, volumes and realization, and both have gone up by five uh, percent on YOI basis. Uh, we we are uh, our revenue in this part of business, which is up by twenty two percent on YOI basis, and EBITDA is up by twenty six percent to rupees four sixty eight crores. So I think you know somewhere uh, someone has got it wrong. Our uh, revenues are up by twenty two percent, and uh, EBITDA is up by. Right. Uh, Mr. Agarwal, so okay. High... Yeah, no, no, fair, yeah. fair point. That point is well taken. Just, we are very close to market open, so just needed a couple of details. Uh, from my end, uh, the VSF prices and the caustic soda prices, I think, aided the standalone performance. What's the view and what's the outlook there? So I think there is, there is a great demand uh, for both of these uh, uh, piece of businesses in, in the Indian co context. Uh, as I talked about, both are our leadership businesses. We are the largest player in, in both the businesses, and uh, the underlying demand is very, very uh, strong, and which is which is reflective uh, on the, the superlative performance we saw in last few quarters, even in this quarter also. And VSF prices have remained firm in last few quarters. In, and in the recent months, uh, VSF prices have gained, uh, driven by tightly supply of ex China on account of output uh, uh, output constraints. Uh, due to some environmental uh, factors in, in, in the international market. And, uh, and I think uh, uh, in chemical uh, business, again, uh, the, the prices uh, include the realization, uh, which, has, which has steadily increased since last few quarters, which uh, are attributed to the firmness in the caustic price globally and good domestic demand uh, firmness in international caustic prices is, is driven by supply constraint due to environmental-related consideration in China, and uh, weather threat uh, disruption in U.S. And the demand for caustic soda has been scaling up, uh, supported by domestic uh, uh, demand growth from end-user industry, such as uh, Elmuna, textiles, soaps, and detergent, etc. Okay. So, and, and clearly, in this part of business, our revenue are up by 27% on YOY basis, and, uh, and, 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 uh, and eco relation which is up 19%. Yeah, Mr. Agarwal, so that's a fairly strong outlook. Uh, we'll have to leave it at that.